Anyo Hideo. Hello, everyone. My name is Dave Dickman. I'm the CEO of Tagger Media. Don't worry, this isn't another boring corporate tech video. Hi, we are Tagger, the leading influencer marketing platform and creator listening engine that's actually easy to use. Here's a quick look at what Tagger does, how our platform works, and who we help. Tagger helps overwhelmed and underinformed marketers build effective influencer marketing strategies and find the perfect creators for their campaigns. And we're in town to support the Ad Asia conference that is happening here. It's a regional call the great work going on in digital and influencer marketing. And we're excited to talk about on the main stage about uh, influencer marketing specifically and the data part of it and the creative part of it. So um, that's happening on Thursday afternoon, which we're really excited about. And it's great to be back in Seoul. I, I haven't been here in 20 some years. I'd spent some time at Turner Broadcasting with CNN on the business side. Um, so it's, it's changed a lot, but it looks the same to me in many, many good ways. So Tagger Media is a SaaS platform, which is services as a software, and it's really there to kind of help agencies and brands develop strategies and execute campaigns on anybody who's hiring a social media influencer. So this space has been around for some time now, but it's really matured and, and grown up. And we're excited to be here in Korea to talk about the Korean version of influencer marketing and all the creators and the influencers and what Tagger can do to help support those businesses. So Tagger supports just under a thousand clients currently, and it started off in the beauty fashion category uh, initially because they had a, a real need, certainly when you're looking at your media mix to hire social media influencers. And then it quickly morphed into almost every category, right? So it's not just fashion beauty, it's it's CPG, it's uh, movie theaters, it's uh, pharmaceutical companies, it's anybody who's trying to reach a really engaged audience. Um, and Tagger, thankfully, is available in 10 different languages, uh, including Korean. So for our Korean customers, you can go on to Tagger and work in Korean, transact in Korean, and, and every, all, the, all the power and benefits of, of the platforms available for a, a local audience or a worldwide international audience. So it's, it's become a really crowded field. And what Tagger's done always is had really um, ethical on the data piece. So we have relationships with all the social media platforms and we only present and uh, data that's available in the market too. So that's, that's a big piece of it, certainly. And then because this is at its core a paid media execution, it's probably the most complex. I know for myself, having been in broadcast TV and cable and lots of other things, this is most complex because you have TikTok and Snap and Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. Making sense of all of that and simplifying it is very difficult to do. And that's where I think Tagger's done a fantastic job of really simplifying that execution for the end user um, and making that impactful, ho however you measure your, your investments. Yeah, influencer marketing, as we said, it, depending on the country and territory, there, there's been a recent survey by Sprout Social that said 80% of marketers are using influencers part of their social strategy, and we see that just increasing dramatically, primarily because it works, right? So depending on the metric you're using to measure your campaigns, whether that's engagement or you're, you're physically tying it back to a product or service where you could say to someone, click in the link below, and you, you follow that all the way through what we call attribution. Depending on how you measure it, it's incredibly, it can be 10 times the ROI return on investment of other media channels that you're working with. So one of the, one of the things we talk to a lot of clients about is a, is a framework, it's certainly not new, but Tagger's really leaned into it, and it's called the who, what, why, where, and when. So the five W's, if you follow that framework, and, and I don't have to go through, it, it's kind of a common sense approach. It's, you know, who am I targeting? When's a good time to post? Why am I doing it? There, there's a variety of reasons, but if you follow that 5W framework, we think that's a really um, powerful way for all of our clients to make the most of influencer marketing. Yeah, I think as I was talking about, it depends on what you're trying to do. So uh, to give you some examples, we have um, some Korean cosmetics brands who are really trying to tie back um, uh, attribution, engagement. They want fans that are really kind of like commenting, sharing. 
there's movie movie uh, marketers who are really just trying to build brand awareness, in which case you're trying to go big and broad and you're trying to find influencers that have a really big following. You also might have people where we go after niche audiences. So you might be uh, a new cosmetics brand only available in Korea. Your strategy is to find influencers that have primarily a Korean audience because one of the things I love about influencer marketing, the audiences are global because people following an influencer are all over the world. But with, with platforms like Tagger, you can drill in and you can say 80% of the audience is Korean because I'm, I have a Korean product. And you, know, you, you lean into it that way. The, the other fun part about influencer creatively is you have to hire the influencer. We encourage you to hire the influencer to let them do it the way they do it naturally. So if, if you don't like the way they're doing it, I wouldn't hire them, but I also wouldn't try to change the way they talk to their audience because that's that should be the reason you're hiring them is that you really like them, you love their audience, it's engaged, you want to you want to give them the creativity to be able to do it in the way they would want to do it. So there's a variety of ways to kind of build your Korean strategy and there's also a strategy if you're in Korea and you're trying to reach consumers outside of Korea or if you're just looking for a Korean audience, a, a number of ways to do it. A little bit, some of the themes I was talking about earlier, I think in terms of you have to let them, you, you have to hire the person for what their value they're adding and make sure you, you like them. There also is the ethical piece on the data you're presenting and you're drilling into. and. That's a really important piece because even when you're measuring the effectiveness of the campaign, you have to make sure your data's in the in the right right place, um, and really just making sure you know there's been some bad actors in influencer marketing as it's grown up, but I feel like it's matured significantly over the years. The audiences are there; it's super engaged. Um, the data is ethically sourced. You you have tons of visibility into how the creator is doing their content. In fact, you approve the content before they push it out. So, there, there's a number of factors that have really kind of made this a uh, impactful, powerful way to to build a media schedule. What we have done uh, on ethical issues, we've a lot of the countries and territories have trade bodies that have developed around influencer. Like in the UK, there's an influencer marketing trade body. In Australia, there's AIMCO. So we make sure Tagger has a presence to help develop those different trade bodies. And I would love if something developed here in Korea, a trade body. And it's kind of a self-supporting organization that makes sure um, there's legal, if, if in partnership with, or you're using the right naming conventions to represent that it's an advertisement. So that one, again, it depends on what, another metric people are looking at is earned media value, EMV, and people calculate in, that in different ways, but engagement, EMV, um, the opted in part of the equation I was talking about earlier is effective because we have the impression level data, so we're able to really effectively measure it. It used to be when this space first started out, people would take screenshots of their things and send that to the brand. I mean because the audiences are so vast and frankly the creators are getting paid a significant amount of money those days are long gone if you're writing a large check to someone of course you need to make sure that you validate what they delivered relative to what you hired them to deliver so i think that's a really big part of the equation you know there there are there there's quite a few i think looking at the market where you are and what what are you trying to accomplish are you trying to are you looking for reach are you looking for engagement levels? I mean, it used to be a 2% engagement was kind of a reasonable table stakes opportunity. But you might want to hire 500 influencers out of a really small audience because their engagement is 10%. And that's a different sensibility of knitting together 500 influencers, but it could be more impactful. And with platforms like Tagger, you have the ability to do that at scale. It's frankly just a lot easier to do that. So if you're trying to find, if that's one of your strategies, Oftentimes we get asked about the top of the funnel, like really incredibly famous artists, musicians. Uh, that's not, that's a different approach than taking the mid-level or the micros and kind of put it, pushing that together because when you're buying these big audiences like BTS or someone, it's, you're gonna, it's like a equivalent in the US of a Super Bowl ad where you're gonna get this whole massive audience. But that might not work for your product or service. I'm, I'm only looking for men who do this or women who do that. So knitting that together, the ability to drill into it is incredibly efficient. 
It's it's just going to grow in scale and get more uh, larger than it is now. But there's been a big push originally on the the B two C, the business to consumer, and B two B is becoming really a, a big part of this as well. And also, it's interesting for me personally because I've been in the broadcast part of the world, and then I was in cable and satellite, and then digital, and then music streaming with Apple, and then being an influencer marketing to me is just another channel that's developed over time. The difference is influencer marketing is happening faster and the audiences are massive and it's it's hard to ignore it. So it's it's definitely emerged. It's not emerging, it's already there. But I do think it's going to just grow and scale even more significantly over time because it incorporates every category. We talked about beauty and fashion, but it's also pharmaceutical, somebody who might have a diabetes condition. You can find audiences who care about diabetes and you can, you know, you can drill in and look at all of that, which really up to this point you haven't been able to do. So there's a lot of, lot of growth left. Sprout Social is a um, media management and uh, data piece of software that has over 30,000 customers. I would, I would think it is, they look at social differently and it's about that social media dashboard and managing all of your social channels as a brand or a marketer. And I, I mentioned a statistic earlier where we said 80% of advertisers or brands and agencies are investing in influencer marketing as part of their social. So it's an organic, another um, channel that makes a ton of sense because we're seeing that the market is looking for not only a piece of software to manage your social, but a piece of software that's connected to the influencer marketing piece so that you have it all in one, in one place. So we're really excited to be acquired by Sprout Social. They're, they're a publicly traded company based in Chicago. They're a big global footprint, as I mentioned, over 30,000 clients. So uh, early, early days, but a lot of opportunities there. Want to see how Tagger can work for your brand or agency? Head to taggermedia.com and book a live demo today.